guys, my name is Leonie and welcome to a very special video. Stick around until the very end of the video because there will be a special announcement. Because I have a lot of time on my hand right now and because maybe some of you guys may be in need of some extra escapism and some extra content on YouTube, I am going to make a short video every single day for the next five days. And what are we going to do in those videos? Well, I created a magical booktube game that we're going to play in every single video. I'm really excited. <laughs> but before we go to our game, I want to give a little bit of a reading update. So for this video, in the reading update, I'm just going to talk about the book that I just finished. And that is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Langle. Langle? Langle? I still don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a middle grade science fiction and I did kind of have a lot of fun, but I didn't love it that much. But I just finished it, so it means it's time for new books, which is always great. So now it's time to start on our adventure. The game I created is called Leo's Garden. I took some inspiration from really great TBR games like Rachel's Realm, you may have noticed that. Take a look at her videos, they are really great. This is the garden in which we will be walking around the next five days. We're standing at the gates, but we're trying to get to the library at the end. But as you can see, along the path, there are five caves that we need to pass through. And at every cave, we have to perform a challenge. The only thing that we have with us is this magical flower. And each petal on this flower contains one of the challenges. So, as this is day one, we have arrived at the first cave, which means I'm going to pick a flower petal and see which challenge we have to do. Alright, so the first mission was show us your TBR. I took all of my TBR books from my shelf. Not all of them, I have kind of a direct TBR pile that I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, I have a few more books that I technically haven't read yet, but I have a bookshelf tour coming soon and I'll talk about those books in that video. But for now, my direct TBR contains 13 books. The first one that I have is Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. I read a few of these, but you know, it just takes a while to really get through all of them. I think I'm just gonna put this one on my nightstand so I can kind of prompt myself to read one every single evening before I go to sleep. Then. <laughs> This may have been the longest one on my TBR, I think. It's All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. This is a book that I bought on a whim on my very first booktube meetup. And I think that's also the reason that I can't get rid of it because it kind of has sentimental value, but I'm not super interested in the story anymore. I think it's magical realism about two scientists. That's kind of all I know about it. There's, it's not very popular or anything, so it's really hard to kind of hype myself up about it. So if you read this and you really liked it, please hype me up in the comments. Then there's this book that I got for Christmas last year that is The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley. This is supposed to be really good. I love the cover. It's kind of like Victorian era historical fiction, but there's some magical elements to it. It's kind of steampunk. But I read her other book, The Batlam Stacks, and I wasn't really enjoying that one. And because of that, I've been hesitant to pick this one up. But I've heard it's really good and I do love steampunk, so maybe I'll just save this one for when the weather gets a little colder again. I know we, we're just getting out of winter, but I feel like this is an autumn book, you know? And then I have, this is such a shame, uh, A Conjuring of Light by V.U. Schwab, third book in the A Darker Shade of Magic series, which I really love, but this book intimidates me because it's like a good 650 pages long. <sighs> this is a fantastic fantasy series about the idea that there are like multiple dimensions of London and each dimension has different amounts of magic. It's so good. The second book was like a full on five star read for me. It's one of those books on my TBR that I'm not reading because it's intimidating. Then I have the beautiful copy of Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. This one is illustrated. There, look at that, it's so pretty. The reason that I haven't read this yet is because I did start it at one point about two years ago maybe, and I think I got, I mean, there's no bookmark in here, but I think I got like a hundred pages in and I have to admit that I didn't really enjoy it that much. But this book is too pretty for me to just DNF it like that. Especially because I really have a lot of faith in Neil Gaiman, he's V. Schwab's biggest inspiration and V. Schwab is one of my favorite authors and I really enjoy his writing style. I really feel like Neil Gaiman is the kind of author that I would absolutely love, but 
so far. <laughs> I've been hesitant to pick it up because I did start it once and I really didn't enjoy it. But maybe I just, maybe I was just in a reading slump. I don't know. And then a book that I have here is <laughs> a night film by Marisha Pessel. This is also a book that I started at one point but never really got through. Uh, it's also hefty. It looks quite thin but I think it's like... Yeah, it's almost 600 pages, so again, intimidating book. And I don't usually read thrillers. I just need to pick it up, what can I say? Then I have this copy of Hannibal by Thomas Harris. I've never talked about this on my channel, but the TV show Hannibal is one of the best things ever made in the history of humanity. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that it got discontinued. And because of that, a friend of mine bought me this book, but from what I've heard, this is actually like the third book in the series. It's a little confusing, so I haven't picked it up yet because I'm like, I don't think, I don't think this is the first book in the series. <laughs> and then last but not least, the biggest shame of my entire channel. Some of you who watch me for a longer time already know this, what that is. The Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Yes, it is true, I somehow did not grow up reading the Harry Potter books. I'm not quite sure why. I did grow up with everything else around Harry Potter. I loved watching the movies. I collected the stickers. I was a fan, but for some reason I never really picked up the books. Honestly, don't really know why. And it's like a daunting series. Again, it kind of intimidates me because it's such a huge series. And I also, I'm gonna have to admit, I'm scared that I'm not gonna love them and I feel a lot of pressure to love these books. And I did actually read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and I did actually really enjoy it, but series intimidate me. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm really, really, really bad at finishing series. And that was my TBR. I think with that we completed the first challenge and tomorrow we can move on to the second cave and do our second challenge. I'm really excited about it. The last segment of this video is the announcement that I want to make. I'm really excited. So me and Sabine, or for at Sabine's book nib, had this really great idea because a little story time. We were actually planning on like meeting up and having some fun together, but we couldn't because of the circumstances. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna host a 24-hour readathon together. It's going to be a reading party. You know, if we can't meet up in real life, we're just gonna have a party over the internet. So if you wanna join us, you can. You can just read whatever you want. There's no specific TBR prompts. The whole point is to just have some anti-social contact through a social media party. So that is the 22nd of March and we would love for you all to join us from midnight in your time zone to the next midnight in your time zone the whole Sunday. For more updates you can follow us on Twitter and follow the hashtag 24H reading party. There's also going to be a live show but updates on that will come later. Just know for now that this weekend on Sunday 24 hour readathon let me know if you're gonna join. So that was it for today's magical short video. I hope to see you again tomorrow so we can continue our adventure. Goodbye! <laughs>